Alright you guys, uh, welcome uh, to this tutorial. If you're watching this, you've probably bought my newest avatar base, the Airplane Dragon. Um, if you have, thank you so much. Um, I'm just going to go over some simple things to set it up quickly and efficiently. If you've bought any of my other bases, especially the Puck base, then all of this is going to be super familiar for you. Um, nonetheless, uh, let's do this. So we are going to start off with downloading uh, the VRChat SDK for uh, avatars, so the 3.0, so just click this and download it. We're also going to need a Playomi Tune Shader, as always, um, and these two links will be in the video description below. So um, so we want a uh, Playomi Tune Shader. Uh, whatever is the newest version is completely fine. Doesn't matter too much, so we're going to also download that. And um, Fizzbones has been out for a few weeks now, so the Airplane Dragon obviously uh, takes advantage of that, so no need to download Dynamic Bones at all. So once those two things are downloaded, and um, you have also downloaded the Airplane Dragon Unity package from um, the Gumroad or Coffee page, um, we are going to go into Unity, and we're going to make a new project. And we are using, um, if you have multiple versions of Unity installed on your computer, uh, make sure that you're using 2019.4.31. So I'm going to name this Airplane Dragon Tutorial. And you can put that anywhere. And so we're going to create this project and give it a few seconds for it to load up. All right, so uh, Unity is open now, and what uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click in the Assets section here. We're going to import a package and a custom package. So we are going to import, first of all, uh, the VRChat SDK, which is right here. So we're going to do that uh, first and foremost. And so this thing will pop up. Uh, we want everything imported. It's fine. And um, this is going to take a few moments as well, so I'll just skip ahead here. Alright, uh, once you have the VRChat SDK installed, you'll know that it um, installed correctly if you have this VRChat SDK tab come up here on the top here. And we have multiple options, um, so we're going to show the control panel. I'm just going to drag it here next to the inspector because that's where I like to put it. And the next thing we're going to do is import the Poyomi shader. So let's do that right now. And uh, once again, this is going to take a couple seconds here. So let's skip ahead. All right, uh, Poyomi is in the project now. So uh, last thing we're going to import is the airplane dragon package. So let's go and find that. And I put it right here, uni package. There we go. So let's open this up as well. This is the last package that um, we will need. So I'm going to import all this, and uh, it'll take a few moments here too. Great. So at this point, we have everything installed, and um, what we want to do is uh, go into the Airplane Dragon folder here. And I have created a handy little scene uh, that we're going to double click here. I kind of dropped everything into the scene and uh, just give it a couple seconds to load in. All right, cool. So these are all of the pre-mades. Uh, you can just click one and press F to focus in on that on it quickly. So uh, these are the blank ones. Um, and then these are the three pre-made uh, textures that I've created. Um, so it's worth noting that there is a regular body type and also a kimono body type. Okay, sorry about that. So there's a regular body type and a kimono body type. And the kimono body type uh, is pretty much exactly the same, except they have smaller paws. They got a bit of a chibier look. They are slightly shorter. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to include both because I think they're both cute. So, um, okay. Um, so, uh, you want to 
First of all, move. If you want to upload any of these, you want to move them to the 000. So um, first things first, I'm just going to hide all of them except for Saul here. And um, it's on uh, 2 on the X, so we just want to move it to the 0. And we want to make sure that uh, it's on the exact origin point of the world before we upload anything. And um, we can um, uh, log in here. Hold on. Okay, uh, logged in. Um, if you see any of these red error uh, warning signs, you can just hit auto fix. Um, nothing, nothing critical should happen at this point if you've done everything correctly. Um, these avatars are all um, built. They're 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 built already. You don't you don't have to touch them. Um, I've also uh, made prefabs. They're all right. So the pre-mades are down here. The pre-mades. So um, they're in their own folders. So scuff seven and Saul. This is Saul here. Um, you just drag them into the hierarchy, and they should uh, default to the origin point. And um, don't worry if they appear pink like this. It's just a little graphical error. Um, they should appear fine once you drag them into the scene. So as you can see, the kimono is slightly uh, shorter than the uh, the regular airplane dragon. Uh, you can um, fiddle with the scale here if you want them even shorter. So if you want this even smaller, you can maybe set it to 0.8. Um, but if you mess with the scale, you're going to have to move the viewport here. That's where your head is going to appear in uh, VR. So uh, it's right down here in the avatar descriptor. So 1.5, let's... 0.3 is still pretty uh, high. What we want is for it to be sort of in the middle of the eyes, or if you're having trouble with your arms T-Rexing. Sorry, I'm having a lot of uh, trouble with my uh, easy face avatar, but whatever. So um, as I was saying, if you're having trouble, um, if you're, um, you want the, I'm sorry, you want the viewport to be sort of in between the eyes, or if you're having trouble with the T-Rex arms, your arms T-Rexing in VR, uh, you want to place the viewport a little bit lower. But um, the IK 2.0 has come out as of a few days ago, so this should have hopefully fixed a lot of these uh, sort of issues. However, if they are still persisting for you, then definitely um, fiddle with the position of the viewport. Let's bring this down even lower. Uh, okay, that, that looks fine actually, 1.2. That's sort of like right there. Um, yeah, that's just something to look out for. And um, everything else is fine. The FX controller, the menu, and the parameters are already filled out for you. Um, yeah, if you wanted to create your own airplane dragon, um, I, I will go through that uh, right now. So we have um, a prefab folder that I have created, and these are blank prefabs that I've made um, so people can sort of drag and drop and uh, build their own airplane dragon easily. So these are the um, the bodies. So, so this is the kimono, and this is the regular blank. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a kimono um, because um, I sort of already built a regular um, airplane dragon um, for my character. So let's take advantage of this opportunity and make a little kimono version. So um, what I'm doing is I'm just dragging this prefab into the hierarchy. You never want to drag it directly into the world because it's going to drag it into the position uh, where your mouse is, which is not where we want it at all. So that's not good. Let me delete that. So, uh, so we have our blank prefab here. We're going to um, sort of hit these arrows here so we can expose the armature. This is the armature here. So we're just going to navigate down into the head because 
most of everything that we're going to parent here is going to be parented to the head. And if you see, if you can see here that we have already a few things. So in the game, you are able to sort of uh, choose and toggle through a bunch of different visors. These are already built into all of the prefabs. Um, so you do not have to touch these. If you wanted to further optimize the avatar, you can delete these. But of course, um, your animations in the game will not work after that. So you just want to be careful um, not to touch these. Um, so next thing that we're going to do is we're going to pick out our sort of parts here. And um, I sort of know what my character looks like, so I'm just going to breeze through this. So there are cheek fluffs. There's two options. There's a large cheek fluff and a small cheek fluff. My character doesn't use either of them, but if you wanted uh, to use them, you can at this point sort of uh, drag them out into the hierarchy right here. Um, important to note. Uh, that you want to drag them into the hierarchy and not directly into the armature. If you drag them into the armature, uh, they will not appear. They will appear uh, either very, very large, somewhere up here, or very, very small. Oh, there we go. Yeah, see? So that is why you do not want to drag them directly into the armature, because it doesn't... Um, retain the world position. So I'll just delete those. Um, but my character doesn't use cheek fluff, so we don't have to worry about that. Also, for the kimono version, if you're using a regular, um, the regular prefab, you do not have to do this. But uh, if you're using the kimono version, uh, you will have to move these into place uh, since they are made for the regular uh, version of the body um, and it is uh, the avatar is slightly taller so all of the prefabs are going to be slightly out of place but all you have to do is move them um, down along the y-axis uh, just so that they're more in place okay so uh, my character actually doesn't have any cheek fluff Hair. And I'm just going to um, minimize this so I can easily, more easily drag things out into the hierarchy here. Three different kinds of hairs. There's uh, the side swoop, uh, a small little hair tuft, and uh, spiky hair. So I'm going to use the side swoop here. I'm just going to drag everything out, and then afterwards uh, I will move everything into a better position. Uh, there's a folder for horns and ears. Uh, there's a few different types here. Um, there's big ears, small ears, these little uh, sort of wing thingies. I don't, I don't know what to call them. They're just horns, and um, these are round horns. Um, and then this is a nose horn that goes onto the nose here, like so. Um, one thing I did want to mention is that a lot of these, not all of them, but um, some of them, do have blend shapes that control. Uh, like the size and the look of them. So if I hide this hair for a second here. Um, and again, I'm not using this on this character, but I just wanted to show you that if you go into uh, the mesh and there's going to be blunt shapes right here, we're going to expose these. And I've made a few blunt shapes for uh, this mesh just so you can um, more finely control uh, what your character sort of looks like. So uh, if we just um, make these 100, we can sort of see what uh, this does to the mesh here. Yeah, uh, this is just another sort of way to control uh, the, customization, uh, the customization of your character. And um, just to just wanted to remind you to double check the meshes and see if there are any blend shapes for you to play around with there. Um, so horns don't really need my character doesn't have any. The visors I put in here, but they are on every prefab, so um, you do not have to put these on your character because you'll be able to. There's a there's a menu I've put in your gesture uh, menu that you can um, scroll through all of them and also. Uh, pick the color of them so all right so the wings my character actually has 
uh, uh, the propeller. He's a little propeller dragon. So let's do that. And I'm going to pick all of these. I'm going to select all of them, I mean. And we're just going to bump them down along the y-axis. That looks about right. Yeah. Um, okay. And my character actually has a couple of uh, other meshes. Let me go ahead and grab them here. I have made some custom meshes for the for my character. Oh, I actually don't have it in this project. Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, actually, let me let me import those real quick. All right, I've imported uh, all of my materials and stuff. I'm sorry that this tutorial is a little all over the place. I am a little all over the place. So if that's why, then you know why. Okay. Um, my character is Ceres. Um, I sort of made all his stuff yesterday, so um, let me just uh, show you guys how to apply materials and such. So I have some materials. Um, so what you can do, what I suggest that you do, is you go into the pre-made folder here, just pick any of them, go into the materials. You just want to copy them and do control. You want to you want to press down control and just um drag them out into a different folder so that you copy them <laughs> i would just suggest i would suggest making copies of the materials that i have already created and just replacing the texture in those materials so you can highlight all of your copied materials now go into the shader so that we can unlock the poyomi shader here uh, hit 7.3 and Poyomi Tune, so this unlocks all those shaders easily and quickly. You can also do this if the shader is appearing pink uh, for some reason, and you're not seeing this sort of um, preview here. So at this point we can um, go into uh, the texture here, and we're going to click this little circle here, and just uh, start replacing it with our textures we can also um go into our folder where we know our textures are and drag and drop into there so that's how you can um, create a new material and replace the texture with uh, your own custom texture but i already have textures made so i'm just going to drag and drop them onto my character here um, so the body, um, if you have any cheek fluffs, uh, the cheek fluff is also going to be on the body material. So don't forget to drag the body material onto the cheek fluffs if you do have those. Uh, the eyes. Um, this is for the hair and tail, wings. And um, if you do have the propeller as well, um, the wing material is also the propeller material as well. And um, my character has a couple of custom meshes, so let's go ahead and add those in. We have goggles and these stars. And um, of course they're created for the regular uh, body type, so we're just going to move these into place here. That looks about right. So let's add the materials, so goggles and uh, the stars here okay sweet so at this point uh we have all this set up what we need to do is we need to parent all the meshes uh to the body so that um, they move along with the body correctly so let's go back into the hierarchy um into the armature here and a good rule of thumb is that all of the meshes except for the wings are going to be parented to the head the wings will be parented to the hips instead but everything else will be parented to the head so let's uh, do that so the hair the nose and the goggles and the stars we're just going to drag that underneath the head bone here so that it's parented there and then the wings we will drag into the hips so that it gets parented to the hips all right, and that is everything that needs to happen to create an airplane dragon. If it is on the origin point, which it is, um, you are free to upload this now. 
um, because everything is set up. All the prefabs have um, the fizz bones, um, interactions, contact receivers, anything that they need. Um, I've already set them all up into the prefabs, so you really don't need to do anything else um, other than that. So let's rename this. Uh, Cirrus Kimono. Okay, cool. And we're going to go into Publish. So we're going to hit Build and Publish, and it's going to take a couple minutes. Um, and I'll be back then. About a billion years, because all the sh shaders needed to be locked in, um, but whatever. So we're going to name it Cirrus Kimono. Description doesn't matter. Um, I asked though you always upload your avatar as a private avatar and not public so people can't clone you. Um, I would appreciate it if you could uh, respect that. Um, for the image, let's just take this. I don't know why it always defaults to 60 field of view because that's disgusting. I'm just going to set it to 45 or 30. It's good too. Whatever game, um, ignore this box. I don't know why that happens. And then hit upload, and you're good to go. Enjoy being an airplane dragon in uh the VR zone. Um, if you have any questions or if um something got borked for you, feel free to join my Discord and post in the appropriate channels. Um. I'm usually available to uh, for help um, with troubleshooting. If not me, then um, some very helpful people in my Discord have been uh, very kind to um, sort of um, dedicate some time to help people uh, with troubleshooting. Um, but yeah, um, that sort of covers all of it. I went over blend shapes. Oh. They're, yeah, they're, they're blend shapes on the body too. I sort of forgot to go over that, but I feel like if you, if you know a little bit about uh, VR chat avatars, you'll know that um, usually people will put um, blend shapes onto the body here. Uh, so visemes, utility, expressions, don't touch these, but the customization, feel free to mess around with these. Um, a few of them are uh, exposed in the game, so you can control this in the game. Um, eyelashes, breasts, are in the game. Snaggle tooth are in the game. Oh, not snaggle tooth. I mean, uh, sharp teeth. Uh, but yeah, those are in the game. But everything else, uh, feel free to mess around with. You can hide uh, the fluff, all the fur here. So if you wanted uh, a more sleek sort of uh, dragon here, you can definitely do that. Um. Here is a more chubby sort of dragon. Here's a slimmer body type. Um, there are a couple of different uh, versions of the snout here. So here's a square snout. Torpedo sort of looking guy. Um, little chibi, little chibi snout. Little, little guy. Uh, these are like the pupils. Um, I think some of these don't mix well with the expressions, so if you do the slit, um, just be careful with that. Uh, small pupils, large pupils. This is the snuggle tooth, so you got a, a little bit of an overbite here. And yeah, I think that covers everything now. Yeah, have fun being an airplane. <laughs>